Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. I have to say it's quite exciting to be here. Yeah. Yours is by far one of the most amazing stories from Dancing with the Stars. Yes. I know winning had to be an amazing feeling. Why was that important for you? Well, I have to say, I think that being on the show in itself was very important to me just because the main reason is, is I wanted to prove to the world that deaf people can dance. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you can hear or not. Um, and it's not necessary. So with Dancing with the Stars, it's such a huge platform for me. We're talking 15 to mil 18 million people that are watching it. So I definitely wanted to tap on that platform and help my, my foundation. And my foundation, the goal is to change deaf people's lives. So I wanted to take yeah. advantage of that, and I want it. Yeah. So even more important. Man. Your, your story is just so inspiring because you just proved that you can overcome a huge challenge in your life. Definitely. And I, I think the funny thing is, is when Dancing with the Stars asked me to be on the show, I never danced growing up. And I met with them and I told them <laughs> I can't dance. And they're like, can you pull it off? And I said, it might make great TV. And I said, I am an athlete, but I'm not sure if that would be applicable. But it happened, so it's a good thing. I think it happened. Wow. Now, you recently started the Niall DeMarco Foundation. Can you tell us about your work? Well, the main reason I established the Nile DeMarco Foundation is because there's 70 million people worldwide and only 2% of them have access to education in sign language. Mm. So we're talking about millions of deaf people that don't receive education in sign language, oh, and that's man. language deprivation. So, and also on top of that, 75% of hearing parents don't sign to their deaf children. So it's, I don't blame the parents at all. I think that they just need resources. And that's yeah. why I want to take advantage of my celebrity yeah. status to establish yeah. my foundation and provide resources for those in need. Yeah. So hopefully I change their lives. Yeah. And they, and, <laughs> let me ask you this. You're not just a dancer. You're also a supermodel. And for those of us who are supermodels, <laughs> uh, it's very, very difficult. How do you, how do you navigate being this, this icon in, in fashion as well as all the other things that you do? Well, I have to say, it's definitely not easy. The fashion world's a cutthroat industry. And, oh. you know, and I have to say that you know, sometimes you can be ignored, but I think it's how I approach it and being assertive. And I'm very thankful for technology. When I yeah. meet people, I can yeah. use my phone to communicate. And we can text back and forth. Yeah. So it's something that I actually give them that opportunity. I don't always make people accommodate me, but I try to accommodate them. That's so great. I think that's important. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah.